In this session, we're going to have a look at how you can set screen backgrounds, but also column backgrounds in terms of color, transparency, and images. So here I have a screen uh, just with some text and a heading uh, with the content block here divided into three columns. And I'm just using the default Turing Blue theme here. So if I preview this before we start adjusting anything, if I just uh, go into preview, we can see here that uh, we have our content blocks, just a gray background, but uh, that's looking very, very plain and uh, really quite, quite boring. So let's see how we can begin to change that. So if I go back into the editor, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a screen background. So to do that, just make sure that I click on the screen title so I get the screen properties on the right hand side here. I go down to background image, click browse. And now if I wanted to, I could upload a new background image simply by clicking on the upload tab and dragging and dropping there. Or in this case, I'm just going to use one that we have here already. So I'm just going to scroll down and, uh, and find some imagery that we have here. So I'm going to just choose one of these background images. And there we have it in there. Let's click Save. Topic saved. Let's go back to our preview. I'm just going to refresh this and see what that's done to our screen. OK, just refresh. And here we have it. It's now showing it with the background image. And by default, we have uh, this transparency through the Turing Blue theme on the content columns here. So uh, so again, it's immediately beginning to make it look, look more interesting just by adding in that background. But um, let's also have a look at what we can do on the individual columns as well, because at the moment, all of the columns here are looking the same. So I'm going to go back into the editor. And um, in terms of adding background colors here, then I can, in the same way as we added in the background image, I could also be adding in a background color to the entire screen there just by selecting the color. But what I'm going to do is to, in fact, specify the colors on the individual columns. So I just make sure I've got the content block highlighted here so you can see the black dotted lines there. We have the layout properties on the right hand side and it's showing that I'm looking at the three column layout. And now further down, you can see that we have the styling section for column one, column two, column three. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to select uh, background colors. So you know, I can just click into that box there. We get the color picker, so I can either put in an exact color reference, RGB and uh, hex value and so forth, or here I'm just going to do this by, by eye. So I'm going to choose that one to be say, red. And now what I can also do is specify a transparency on this. So the opacity rating here from zero, meaning completely transparent, to 100, meaning completely solid. So let's just set that, say, to, uh, to about 50%. And let's do the same, say, for column two style, that I could set the, the background color there. And uh, just to show the distinction between the columns, I'm going to just select, say, a green. And again, I'm going to choose a a transparency value and finally column three let's go for a blue on this one so just use the color picker to do that go to blue and uh, let's just uh, take that right down say to 30 percent so so there we have the uh, different columns with different colors with different transparency so let's just click save and see what that gives us. 
So I'm going to go back to my preview, just reload that screen. So it will just load up. So we should still have the, the screen background image there. But here you can see that we have our different colored columns with the different levels of transparency. So we've got a greater degree of transparency on that, that final column there. So this is a way that you can begin to, to get these different backgrounds in and to uh, begin to differentiate between your screens. Let's just take this a step further as well, that uh, in addition to just using plain colors there, I can also use uh, imagery in the backgrounds. So here, let's just go back to our the layout properties for this content block. And here, say in the first column, I'm going to choose a background image. So let's just select that. And uh, I'm just going to choose uh, just any of these images here. OK, a picture of the Sydney Opera House there. And uh, let's just click Save again see what we get there. Just go back, reload, and so we'll get the, the screen background, we'll get the content colors. So here you can see in this case, uh, sort of the images is rather dark, but you can see that we're getting the text with a background image to the text. And then also we have uh, the other columns where we're just using a color there. So that's the use of both screen backgrounds, but then also using the content block column layouts there to be able to change the backgrounds on the individual columns.